Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in studio today. I can see there's a few poorly people. I hope you're all well. Uh, the weather's changing, so I think a few people are going to be feeling a little bit down. Uh, but hopefully I'm here today to get that big smile on your face and, you know, give you that little bit of burst of energy that you need. My name is Tony Derrick and this is the How to Craft Network studio where we are super creative in all areas, apart from sewing. <laughs> If you are not a subscriber to the channel, please click that subscribe button. This gives us a wider reach and it allows other people who may be looking for some inspiration easier to find us. And there is also that little bell, which will give you that half an hour notice if you're not already a subscriber. So hi, Wendy. Hi, Julie. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Shirley. Jan, Suzanne, Carol, Emma, Wendy. Sue, Susan, it's lovely to see you all. Thank you for coming and saying hi. So today is Anything Goes, so I thought I'd paint. It's the only opportunity I get to paint. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently today and just maybe show you a couple of techniques that I like to use where if you are sat at home and thinking, do you know what, I can't be bothered to make a card today, I can't be bothered to be creative in any way, but I'm happy to sit with some watercolours and just paint a stamp. Well, the, today is a good day for you because I'm going to do exactly the same. Now, um, a couple of things to tell you about. If you are shopping on the Stamps by Me website and you are a club member, which a lot of you still are, to get the rewards and points, you need to be shopping on the How to Craft Network website. You're missing out on so much. You can shop on the Stamps by Me website. That's absolutely fine. If that's where you want to go and that's your happy place, then that's absolutely fine. But I'm still seeing lots of orders come through where you are club members, where you need to be shopping on the How to Craft Network because that's where you get your reward points and your extra discounts for every pound that you spend. So you are missing out if you are still shopping on Stamps by Me. And if you've not seen our new website, I do encourage you to go and have a look at it. It's amazing. There are so many benefits, features, inspirational pages, videos, products, just so much on there. So if you have five minutes and want to go and have a look, take a look. OK, it's a super place to be. It's the way forward. However, we're not getting rid of Stamps by Me. You can still have a peruse on there if you want to. Anything else I need to tell you about? Emma. Thirsty Brush, celebrating three years over on Create and Craft on Monday, 6 p.m. She has a brand new launch. If you missed a Facebook Live last night, then it is on the Thirsty Brush page. However, she will be live 6 p.m. on Monday over on Create and Craft with her brand new collection. And it's celebrating three years on Create and Craft. I will be there in the background just supporting of Emma as it's the first time at Create and Craft. We are all super excited about it. And then on Tuesday, she has three live hours. So Thirsty Brush has four shows, which is incredible. And we're so excited about it. And she's got lots and lots of things to show you. So make sure you pop that on your schedule, six o'clock Monday, and then three shows on the Tuesday. So I will be there at six o'clock to help her set up and show her the ropes. And then I'm going to leave her to it the next day, which is good because sometimes you don't need people around you when you're just trying to be professional and get on with it. She's already told me, you know, off you go. Yeah, really. <laughs> so let's be creative. So I have two pieces of watercolour card here now. You're going to laugh in a second. I haven't had my dinner either. I think sometimes when I haven't had my dinner, I get really giggly. <laughs> I go all stupid. I do a happy dance. You've seen me dancing now. So you know I'm never going to be on Strictly. Hey, who's been watching Strictly? We love it anyway. And even though Sarah's on it, we're still watching it. So we are supportive of Sarah. She didn't do great this week, did she? And she needs to let go. I've seen her on Instagram saying, I need to let go. So hopefully this week she's going to absolutely smash it. Fingers crossed. So two pieces of watercolour card. Now I wanted to show you quite a fun technique where you really do look like an artist if you try this technique. So first of all, I'm going to stamp the design. Now, you can freehand paint and you can freehand sketch, but if you can't sketch or sort of freehand paint, stamps are, stamps are a great starting point. So let's pop this in here. Now, I'm going to stamp one in grey, 
and then one in another colour if I have it to hand. So I'm using this lovely Pretty Penny Damp, one of my favourites, you've seen it before. It is Violet Rose and it's that beautiful sort of open, day. I'll show you on the acetate sheet here so you can see, look. There we go, really pretty in design. So I'm going to stamp this one out first in grey. Yes, and it's really good this year. There's some, some belters in there, isn't there? So Saturday night pizza night. Does anybody else do that? So we eat really well through the week. And then on the Saturday now, we've decided Saturday night pizza night. <laughs> nice little treat, hey? After a long week at work as well, because it's incredibly busy here at Stamps By Me. I cannot tell you. I'll just ink that up. I've missed a little piece there. Where else? Up there. And there. Otherwise, all good. There we go. So, a nice image on there, guys. Still missed a little bit there. Let me just move my magnet down. So, I've seen a lot of you have enjoyed the shaker card. A lot of you have done it as well. Super cool. Well done, everyone. Super cool technique, isn't it? But it's nice to do something different. So for this other one that I'm going to stamp, I maybe go, no, we'll go this way, but we'll move it over so it's in a different position. So I'm going to end up with two different cards. Now, today's makes I am going to do as a giveaway. I will sign them. I know you're all probably thinking, hey, what's, that, what's special about you signing them? But I do get a lot of people asking me to sign stuff, so I will sign them. If you don't want it, it's fine. You can put it in bin or give it to somebody else. But um, I'm going to give these two away to two winners, and I will announce the winner on Friday in HDCN, as I'm not with you tomorrow, because the one product three ways starts as of next month. Okay, so today I'm here, and I'm back with you on Friday. Now, I am looking for a different coloured ink pad, but it doesn't look like I've got the brown. So I'm going to do it in a grey again. In fact, no, let's do it in black, so it's different. What card am I using? What size card? So it's just the top folding note cards in it, but I've just trimmed them down just to make them smaller because um, when you're watercolouring, when you've got lots of big space, it, be can, it can become a little bit overwhelming. So I've cut the design Cut the card right down. There's two different sizes, actually, if you look. I, tell, I promise you I have not been drinking. But, um, yeah, I've just cut them down so they're not too overwhelming. There we go. So one black one, I'll just show you, one black one and one grey one. There we go. Two different locations, two different sized cards. So let's just set this aside for now. So the technique that I love to do, which I always think is an absolute corker and it looks really, really cool, is um, it looks like you've masked off, but we actually haven't. So I'm just going to grab my colours here. So let's do this one first, the larger one in grey. I'm just going to take my watercolours. Now you can use whatever watercolours you've got in your stash. Some of you have bought from us here at Stamps By Me. They will work equally as well. She says, I'm trying to open my pot. There we go. You can see, well loved. And what I'm going to do for this technique, first of all, is I'm just going to take my water, because anything goes today. Let's move this over. I'm just going to put water around the image. Oh, Leslie, it's calm. I just need to get it loaded on. I'm just taking my wet brush here. I'm just going around. Now, you're probably not going to see it because obviously the lights and water. But I'm just going around the design here. I'm not being very careful. I'm, I'm being very careful not to go inside the design. But outside the design, I'm just going free. So it doesn't matter how. I'm just painting clean, clear water. Now, if you're thinking I can't see it, just some, sorry, Nathan. You can pick your design up and sometimes you can see the water shining at yourself when, if you're not certain as to where you've put the water. 
So I'll just make sure I get on to all of those. So what I'll do is I'll do round this side first. So this is watercolour card, you get better results with watercolour card. I am trying to create a little bit of a watercolour masterpiece today, although it is going to be mounted as a card and as a giveaway. So I've got water around there. And then I'll stop at this point here and we'll work on this part first. So all I'm going to do now is that part of it's wet. So now I'm going to take some colour. Now I'm going to go a green it up first a nice green and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to drop the green into the water around my image can we see that there i'm just going to let the water do its magic i'm just dropping that green into that water and the water is just letting it disperse can we see that there so nothing fancy here Super easy. Drop that colour into that water you've just painted down. Turn my artwork around. And it's lovely to just sit and watch because it just disperses into that water. This is called a wetting wet technique, which probably most of you do, I would think. I'm not going all green, I'm going to pop some yellow in here too. So let's get a bit of yellow in here too. And again, nice just to be different with your colours now. Bounce it in. Try not to mix too much. Bounce it in and then you'll get sort of a diff different tone of colour. Because if you mix, you're going to just end up making it all go into one colour. So all the areas where I haven't gone. You see how it's just sort of doing its own thing and it looks beautiful when you end up just letting it naturally dry, which is what I'm going to do in a second. So, whilst that's just, I'm going to add a bit of another colour, I think. Whilst we can. Quite right, let's pop that out for another one. So this is like a darker. I'm just popping it in some areas, not being over precious about it, but I would like some darker spots in and around my artwork. And because my card's still wet, I'm not having to do much sort of looking after itself. See that there? I'm just going to let that just bounce that little dark line out there. So that's that bit and then let's just do the bottom part here. Now you could leave this bottom part if you really wanted to, but I'm not. I'm going to go for it. So again, wet all the way around your image. And then we'll bob some colour in. So I started with the green, didn't I? So pop some green in. And then the yellow. And then the dark.
If you've got any harsh lines, you can pounce them out. Put a bit of that water there. I'm going to leave that as is, but what I am going to do while it is wet, I've got some salt that I pinched from the kitchen. I'm going to try and create some further texture on here. Now I'm just going to put the salt on top, grind it straight on, and then I'm going to set it aside and we're going to work on our next masterpiece. So what will happen is that salt will sort of absorb the water and the colour and then hopefully when we come to dry it we'll brush it off and it'll create sort of a very texturized background so i'm just going to set this aside and let it do its thing the next one is going to be a little bit different so with this one i'm not thinking whether i need my colors or not i'm going to go something different so again this time i've got my metallics I've only got the little one me and I'm just going to get some water again very quickly all the way around but this time on this one I'm going to do something different make my card smell nice and all that if you do like coffee <laughs> I'm just popping that water in and around the design I'm just going to go all over on this one because it's sort of been stamped in the centre. So I'm not under any obligation to keep my colours sort of, sort of level. I'm just going to give it a lovely hue in areas. And I'm just going to bob down just to see where it's shiny so I can see where I've got that water. I think we will put some on the card there. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to take some of the lovely gold here, this middle one. I'm going to bounce this around. This is absolutely beautiful, this gold. I'm going to add a touch of pink as well. We'll have gold and pink on this one. I'm pouncing it so it's a bit random. It's a little bit like a smoke screen at the moment. And I think I'm happy with that one. So whilst this one is quite wet, I did it just a little bit around here. There we go. And with this one, I'm going to go coffee. <laughs> I pinched some coffee out of the kitchen. Whether it's going to work or not is another matter, but I felt like it might give us a brown tinge. It might not. It might not work at all, but I felt like if... We popped it in that water it would give a sort of brown speck now i do not have a clue if this is going to work emma's probably screaming at telly going you are crazy girl that is not going to work but i'm going to give it a go because i think if we can get that brown to go into that water oh it is it's actually dispersing look it is it's working well to be fair it should work shouldn't it because you know it's sort of like porous this is going to smell lovely if you've got a friend who likes coffee. <laughs> so shall we just leave that as is for now and just see if that works in that water? Let's just see. Save that bit of coffee there for me. Coffee when I finish studio. So let's just um, move this to one side. And hopefully that'll leave me some markings of some form. Let's bring in our salt. So let's just dry this one off. I 
and then I can maybe pull that salt off and hopefully I think this technique lends itself way better if you leave it to dry naturally Oh, that's cool. So basically, I've just dried it off with my gun there. Now I'm just going to give it a rub with my finger. And you see, you get all of that texture around the image. How cool is that? Look, I've got all those lovely spots around my image. I'm probably not showing you anything you haven't seen before here. But for those of you that do maybe want to try a bit of walk on, it's not scary. It really isn't. So you've got that lovely texture. How cool is that? Sorry, let's get rid of all of this salt on here. Now I'm just going to knock this coffee off here now. Into my, into my bin, see what happens if it lets me. Just one second. I'm going to just turn it upside down and tap it. See if it comes off. <laughs> Need to try it with my gun. And then I'll try and... I think if I try and knock it off now while it's a little bit wet, it'll probably just sort of scratch off. So I'm being a little bit patient in the sense that I need it to be dry a little bit. I'm just going to use my scissors to see if I can brush this off. Leslie, I've never seen this before. Me neither. <laughs> That'll be coffee anyway. Oh, guys. If you scrape it, it'll, it's sort of leaving a mark. So I'm going to absolutely dry it through, then I'll try and get them off. It smells nice. It's making me want a coffee, actually. I'm not sure guys, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's bubbling. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna take a brush and brush it off. Wish me luck. No, I can't even get it off. It's sticking to my card. <laughs> look, let me just show you so you can all see what's happening. I've just got, look, it's even gone on my brush. I've got a coffee brush. Watch what's happening. Just get rid of this brush now. I had coffee on the end of it. Let me just grab a dry brush. Show you what's happening. Watch, what's, look. You see, I can't get it off. And if you scratch it, it's marking it. Did I say today was a show called Anything Goes? Somebody's, Shirley's having a lovely coffee now. I hope it's better than this. I'm just scraping it off for now because I might be able to save it, you know. Hey, this is how techniques are born, is it not? Let me just get rid of all the coffee off it first. And then see where it takes me. It does look like I've spilt a cup of coffee on it. So let me just see if I can save it. If I can't, we'll move back to our other image. Gonna spray it with some water now. See if I can sort of move it around a little bit with my um, brush. You notice I never give up. 
Oh, Tracy just said scratch it off and give it a spritz with some water. I am. Now I'm painting with coffee. Got a coffee and gold coloured card, ladies and gents. Looks like it's got chicken pots. Let's just get rid of the big cluster of coffee first and then. Whilst it's wet, I'm just going to add some more pink. Bring that pink back to life. Do not pop your name below if you do not want the stinking coffee card. Oh. Right, let's just mop some of this water up. This will probably turn out being the blooming best one you watch. Have faith, everybody. Tony, maybe use powder, not granules. <laughs> let's just pick up some of that colour, hey? Oh, there we go, look. Who'd have known? Who'd have known we'd had a... Look at that. That's a more pink, eh? You would have never known we had coffee stuck to it a second ago, causing me chaos. Just bring it back to life, eh? Bye. How's it looking? It looks good, Tony. You'll tell me, out you, Shirley? <laughs> right, let's add some gold splat. And then what I am going to do is I am going to paint the flowers on this one. Just clean our desk. Where's it going, do we think? Anything goes. Anything goes. Well, let's just dry this off and then we're not going to move any more colour around. Let's just add some green to these leaves to make it pop. Maybe a bit there. This is going to then make our artwork come away from the background, stop it from blending into one. And a bit there so you can see what's going on. Got all quiet, haven't that? Because I'm concentrating. Trying to save me artwork here. It's a life or death situation, you know. Uh, and I say it to you, don't I? It's only a piece of paper, put it in bin. I'm the, I'm the worst. 
Oh. I'm gonna leave that. See what this looks like. No, nope, we'll lose it if I do that. Right, I'm gonna leave that to dry and let's bring in this one. Now, I just wanted to add some highlights to this one in grey. So I'm just gonna take black, really mute it down. make it look like a white flower adding that sort of very pale lay down if you'll be able to see that and because it's a little bit wet I am just going to add a little bit of black in there Get a shadow. I'm just following the lines that are actually in the stamp there. Did I save it? Did I sa do you think I've saved it? Some people might say otherwise. <laughs> but anything goes today. I'm absolutely okay with it. Because this is what will happen to you at home is it i'm sure it is and it also shows you that i'm also human as i stand here often enough and you all say everything you do is amazing well today you can see otherwise <laughs> And I always say as well, don't I? Stick with it till the very end. Stick with it. Um, because once it's mounted on its side, it looks really different. Shall we add? I think I'll leave the leaves for the background green. Need some splats though. See you on there. All right, let's just get this dry. I told you didn't have a coffee when I'd end up being the best. Julia says I've saved it, okay. So what I need to do is I just need to add some sparkle to this flower. So the clear sparkle I'm going to use. sure it is not got any colour on from yesterday. I'm just adding sparkle to this one so it does pop from the page. So all over the powers themselves. There you are, the super sparkle on there. Let's get these mounted with a sentiment and some gems, and then we'll see what we think. Just watch. I have to put sentiment there now. Dad says she loves the cello bag shaker yesterday. Great idea. It wasn't my idea. But again, sharing the love of craft. So we can all be creative. So let's just move some stuff out of the way here. Let's get these mounted onto cards, hey? So I have two. Let's have a look. This one goes on this one, does it? Yeah. And if you are on the How to Craft Network website, you can see the show live from there. And all the products are there as well, and all the click, click and ticky boxes, should we say, for you to go and explore yesterday's video as well. You don't have to actually physically go to YouTube 
to watch the videos, if you just go to HTCN, howtocraftnetwork.co.uk or wherever you are in the world, um, you will be able to see all of the inspiration direct from there. Because I know a lot of you struggle sometimes to find. I'm just popping this on top to hold it down. Sunny on the south coast, Julie. Wow. Well, and then, then let's get this one stuck on here. Give it a hand to stick. Yeah, so with the coffee, if you use granules, put it on, scratch it off, and then spritz with water. <laughs> That's what I did, if you want. I'm sure there is a better way of doing it, though, than scratching coffee off a card, but I think it actually looks quite cool now, he says. Right, let's get some... Um, Make sure everything's stuck. Let's get some sentiments and some sparkles on here, and then that's what sort of elevates our craft, doesn't it? Let's pop them um, then both under there. Let's pop some weight on there to stop it from while we just get our bits and pieces together. So I'm going to use some washi tape sentiments as always. Might use a different colour today. I seem to be swaying to the black all of the time. And some sparkles. Now, a lot of you have been asking about the sparkles. They are on the website. There are gems, sparkles, pearls, different sizes. All sorts going on, some with holes, some without holes. Um, but I did say yesterday, if you wait, we will be putting a promotion on all of the embellishments like pick and mix, so you can pick so many colours for X or um, buy three, save X. So if you want to wait, you can go and have a look, maybe add them to your favourites. If you are on the How to Craft Network website, add them to your favourites. So when we do go live, you can pop them straight in your basket. And the reason why I say that is because we have some absolutely gorgeous storage coming for sequins and beads I'm not telling you anything else so if you are a fan of the sequins which we are at stamps by me all the gems all the pearls there's absolutely all sorts on there then the storage is going to be cool so let's get a sentiment on here oh good pitch so let's go two cards so clear on this, going to have to be clear on this one because it's got the green undertone and that is what these have, these ones. So let's pop some cleary ones on here. So we have three mil, four mil, five mil, mixed bags. Long time waiting. Long time coming, they have been. Let me show you that one. That was nice, had a bit of sparkle piece, didn't it? And then on the other one, I guess what? I'm going to use some coloured ones. Get me out. And then big sentiment for that one. I need to cut some more of these. I start getting very anxious if me if my pot goes below a quarter. And then on this little one, let's do some sparkles on this one. I'm going to pop them on top of the design on this one. So one. Mm. 
things are getting a mix. So we're having some cappuccino, some dark chocolate chip, and some oyster. Pushing boat out today, hey? <laughs> Looking forward to seeing the storage. It's incredible. I promise you. Well, it looks like it's a purple one. That can go on anyway. It's on, isn't it? Now? Lots of purple. Little purple one jumped in there. Little, little purple one jumped in the mix. <laughs> and then let's have a look what we've got going on. Everything about you is amazing. Gosh, miss you. Thank you for being you. I'm sending, don't forget, I'm giving these ones away. So, oh, happy retirement. That's nice, isn't it? Um, so, all you need to do is pop a comment below this video after we've gone off air. And I'll pick a winner for Friday. Do you know what? Because that's not. Um, just I'm going to put it there because um, the image is not great. So there we have two different cards. This one does smell of coffee. Maybe you might want to try some. I, hey, if you did it with um, wash powder, card would smell pretty nice, wouldn't it? Wash powder. Something different today that's what today is all about anything goes so if you've got anything you would like me to try um hey that's not a bad effort is it let's just show you a sparkle on this one too there you go you can see it's sparkle on that one um if you've got anything you want me to do on anything goes on wednesdays you'll have to let me know okay because i'm open to pretty much everything anything as long as i can try or it's achievable like the coffee you know not a great sketch but the result is nice and I'm absolutely over the moon with it in the end. So there we go. Two pretty awesome cards. So I hope you like those. Don't forget, pop a comment underneath. And I'll pick two winners. If you want me to sign it, I'll sign it. If you don't, it's fine. Um, so I'll leave you with, with that one. So I'm with you Friday for a HTC on launch at 1 o'clock. Okay, so if it's raining, get your slippers on, get a cup of tea and come and watch the show at 1 o'clock. And then Emma is with you over on Create and Craft at 6 p.m. So even if you're not a fan of that sort of design, come and say hi, you know, show some support. We all want everybody to do well in craft. So lovely to see you all. I'll see you all Friday. Take care, everyone. Bye.